college, they have something called diatonic harmony. <laughs> Scary word, huh? In college music, they use Roman numerals for everything. They take a scale and they assign each number of the scale a Roman numeral and they give it a name. So, for example, this would be number one, a big number, Roman numeral one. And it's called the tonic. And you don't need to write this down, but it's interesting. All right? Number two is a little Roman numeral two, and it's called the super tonic. Number three is a little Roman numeral three, and that's called the median. I think of median. Middle. And number four. I didn't pay much attention in college. <laughs> five one? No. 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 I did that. I want five. There you go. Oh. That's called the subdominant. Alright? And number five, I know that one, is called the dominant. And number six is called, oh gosh, I forgot. Super, I think it's called super dominant. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure. That's why we may not put this on the video. <laughs> All right, so they all have names, which means the capital letter numbers of the scale are like the big shots. That, they're the most important. The tonic, what does tonic mean in Italian? Not something you put with gin. Yeah. That's tone. Tone. It's the tone on which the song is based. All right, so the name of the scale is the most important. The dominant, number five, is the next most important. To dominate means to shine out, right? And subdominant is the third most important because it is under the dominant. So if someone says, what are the most important notes in a scale, if you turn them into a chord, would be one, four, and five. And two, three, and six, are later. Okay? So far so good? All right. Now we're going to put this in English terms and get rid of all this, you know, college stuff and cheat. We're just going to use the regular old 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, the composer, when they write a song, they use the key signature, the, the scale, to write the melody, correct? But the song is not usually based on the melody. It's usually based on the chords. Chords come from scales. The melody comes from scales. Okay? All right. So, and there's very specific patterns on how chords work. We're not talking about melody at all from here on out. We're only going to talk about chords and how the chords come from the scale and how you can learn where they go so you don't need to use music. You can sit down and you can play songs. Barbara's been doing that. And just play and play and play and never need a book again. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> well, you can use the book if you want. There's always one. <laughs> but to sit down and play music without music is really fun. To be able to say, oh, I know this song, I wish I had the music. But if you know the song, to not need it and just be able to sit down and wing it would be an awesome thing, don't you think? Yes. Yes, yes. thank you. I, you just say that really loud into that. Say it again then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I, I've just learned recently how good it is not to have to rely on the sheet music. Right. And you know, I learned this just like I'm teaching you. Until I was 27 years old, I could not play a note without a book. I had to pack around all kinds of books. If I played for weddings or anything, parties, if I didn't have the music, I couldn't play it. 
So somebody took the time to tell me, hey, what's the matter with you? It's so simple. All you have to do is put the book away and hunt and peck and hit and miss and learn a few rules. And because I use logic, I don't have the ear, but I knew a lot of songs. I knew if the chord was wrong, I'm a good criticizer. <laughs> so I just finally figured out if I wasn't scared to death, that I could do it. And logic comes in. See, I don't, I don't, I don't feel them at all. I do not feel the chords coming here. Because I'm a note reader, Greg does. He can tell which chord goes where, so can Herman, which makes me sick. <laughs> but I can't do that. So, and I'm guessing most of you can't either. So this is like Alcoholics Anonymous, a music class. <laughs> you can literally use logic to play by ear, because there are very distinct patterns in most songs. Most, see, okay. All right, so here's how it works. And I think we better take a break, because uh, we're out of time.